Hello and welcome back to News Minutes, the 8th of June 2013 and right now it's time for a quick general gaming news update. In this episode we have a brief look at a few more, or I guess a few new, Xbox One announcements and concerns, discussing some Hearthstone leaks and the possibility of a beta coming soon and checking a few videos out for Dying Light, Thief, Deus Ex The Fall and more. Starting with Xbox One, Microsoft have released a wall of text addressing connectivity, licensing and the dreaded privacy features of the Xbox One. In short, they kind of just go over everything they already said at the big reveal, add a little here, change a little there and basically just downplay the lot of it. So let's have a peek starting with licensing and used games. We'll be able to give our Xbox One games to our friends but only once and only to friends we've known for more than a month. Games will be available new in both disc or digital form and will need to be installed on your Xbox One while logged in. You can play games from anywhere on anyone's Xbox One as long as you can log in and the Xbox can check for internet once every hour. The ability to loan or rent games will come sometime after launch and some retailers will be able to buy games back from you if they've signed up with Microsoft to do so. With the Xbox One you can game offline for up to 24 hours on your primary console or one hour if you logged in on a separate console accessing your library and here comes the good part, the privacy talk. You as the user are in control of what the Kinect can see and hear. Conversation and other background noise will not be recorded or monitored by Kinect in any way. They could be, if you know, Connect wanted to monitor or record them, but they won't. For now. And that's the lot of it. You can read the full press release below if you're interested, and once you've done that, be sure to let me know what you think about the Xbox One. Is it the console for you? Are you perhaps not sure yet? Are you waiting for E3 to make your mind up? Most of what I've seen of this new all-in-one entertainment system is actually kind of off-putting. But I guess that's because I would only be in it for the games and nothing else, and we've seen very few games thus far. I am super keen to see what they do with the Xbox One at E3 because they really, really need to step it up. Now next up we're talking Hearthstone. I will warn you before even starting with this piece of news that it is kind of thin. A user over on the Hearthstone Reddit found a couple of screenshots and a bit of information regarding Hearthstone on the Russian site Horodrik.ru. The post, which I had to translate from English to Russian, reveals the Hearthstone dev client, saying it's currently around 800 megs and was created using the Unity 3D engine. It's also directly linked to and unable to work without the yet to be officially announced Blizzard desktop client. Our Russian spy friend Lost lastly also reveals his or her own prediction of a Hearthstone beta sometime soon after E3. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Blizzard don't generally tend to go crazy at or around the time of E3, but you never know. I mean, they did say they wanted the beta to start in summer, and it is technically already summer over there. One good thing we can take from a lot of this is that we now know that we have to wait for the desktop client first. Once the Blizzard desktop client is ready for testing, the Hearthstone beta could possibly follow shortly. My guess, before the end of July, some of us may well be playing Hearthstone. I obviously hope it comes sooner, but there you have it. If the lot of this got you in the mood for some Hearthstone action, even if it's only in video form, then you should probably also check out the latest Fireside Duel. This one between a rogue and a druid. Crazy close and exciting game all the way through. Well worth a watch. Now before jumping into the smalls, a couple of videos that you could potentially check out if you had the time and inclination. They can all be found linked on your screens right now and will open in new windows. First we have a dying light cinematic trailer showing some pretty intense free running with zombies off. Then the Thief E3 trailer titled Garrett the Master Thief. Also sadly without in-game footage. Deus Ex The Fall has, regardless of the ever increasing hate, been shown off more in an E3 trailer. And finally, here's the new Saints Row 4 trailer that's a little different than those that came before it. It's called War for Humanity and it's different good. Definitely different good. Give them all a watch and enjoy. With that done, Smalls time. First up, you can play Saints Row the Third and Civilization V free on Steam this weekend. Diablo 3 is coming to Xbox 360 and PS3 on September the 20th. CryEngine 3 has been confirmed for PS4. Warframe, Planetside 2 and DC Universe Online are heading to PS4 this year. Neverwinter is officially launching on the 20th of June. Spelunky is officially coming to PC. Check Sony's pre-E3 teaser out. Square Enix have been teasing a next-gen Final Fantasy game. Lightning Returns is coming February 11 of 2014. The Walking Dead's 400 Days DLC is currently being teased. Information regarding Respawn Entertainment's Titanfall has been leaked and we now know it's coming to PC and Xbox. Blood Bowl 2 has been announced. Serious Sam 4 is coming and is being funded through a humble bundle 
bundle sale. Chrono Blade from some former Diablo 2 developers has been announced and is coming to Ouya, iOS, Android, and browsers. Then, E3 trailers for Daylight, Hell Raid, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, Doc, and Wolfenstein The New Order can all be found right here on YouTube. There's a video preview of Murdered Soul Suspect up to check out, a few new Witcher 3 screenshots, and finally, the Wildstar soundtrack can be listened to over on SoundCloud. That's it for this episode. Remember to check the description below this video for everything I spoke about and more. Subscribe if you like the content, like the video, and do all that other good stuff. And most importantly, happy waiting for Hearthstone. Happy that.